Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, before we already learned how to send OpenCV images from C++ site to QML site. And here is in that code in my GitHub still. This is the code you see now. And it was working. We are giving the path of the video or we are giving a camera index. And it was able to send on the QML site. Okay, this is we learned via on the help of the Qt image provider class and today we are gonna learn about QPainter class and there is another way to send OpenCV images to QML site and here we are gonna use the function of this class is draw image where is that uh, here this function is able to send Q images to the QML site and all we need to do is that uh, converting uh, converting open cv images to QML, q image and sending via on this uh, function and this is the uh, connected to the virtual function of this uh, property q graphics prox widget class connected to that there is a, a virtual function which is paint function and is taking as input q painter which we are gonna define from this class so with the help of these two classes, we are able to send OpenCV images to QML site, and this will be the second way uh, how I'm uh, how I'm gonna send the images to QML. Okay, uh, this is the code I directly downloaded from my GitHub, which I showed you here, and I just added another class, which is painted item class, and nothing else I changed. So uh, other things for example this image provider class I disabled I'm not using in this code I just added this and we are gonna use this class to send the images okay what is the difference first of all before we were using this there is not big difference for implementation for example here uh, uh, here there are some functions uh, update image and stream video the same uh, implementations also uh, was in here updating requesting images the design is almost same just the uh, functionality is different this is the paint item i'm defining and q objects also same we need to define to call like just like opencv image provider and here uh, maybe i need to talk about here later and i'm defining a constructor paint function which we already see in the website i'm using this virtual function and this is a stream video which is helping us to send qml site and this is the update image which we are gonna use in the uh, in the painted cpp site okay this is the cpp site here totally same just like here if there is no image sent we are gonna uh, we are gonna send a black screen to the qml this is totally same and here we are connecting emit q image to a slot which is update image here this image is taking a q image and after that updating which is also connected to a q painter class this functions already inside that updating and after that paint is called and is drawing with the draw image which we talk in the website site and it's just sending uh, images q images to qml so here is mostly we need to be interested this emit q image is defined in the video streamer class which is our opencv uh, class we can say because we are making the streamer functions in here we are gonna do when i'm calling these signals uh, you will remember also this class because in the previous video we already talked about this uh, first of all, let's open my this you can see just I didn't call yet So it's just giving a black screen when I click to open it will going to this slot and after this slot It will create a Q thread after creating Q thread uh, For example, my Q thread slot is this one It will enter to this and it will work standalone in this function as a as a Q thread here uh, I already opened the video or my camera uh, which when I'm giving is up to the uh, is up to the text input via on the interface I'm giving it will open and it will enter to this one and starting to capture the images via on OpenCV 
after that if the image is uh, is valid image then it will call the thread image which is connected to catch frame slot why i'm not directly emitting to the paint item cpp site from here because uh, anything you need to send to qml site is suggested to emit via on main thread since this is not main thread i need to define i need to emit my q images in the uh, in the main thread function which is this one for example connected to main thread so i'm emitting my images which is emit q image here i need to uh, emit after that is emitting for example is entering to this uh, thread one after that emitting going to the catch frame function after that sending to the q image uh, then emitting to q image going to the paint cpp site after that updating image here and coming here then coming here and sending to the qml site there is also one more thing we need to say because in the main cpp site we need to define a sim register type which is uh, connected to the paint or item and other things already i didn't change uh, it belongs to the previous code in the qml side i disabled image because i don't need that anymore i already have a new item paint item with the help of this uh, importing part then uh, i'm just streamer thread slot which is in here i defined i can reach that via on that and i will equalize it to the my class which is i defined here also yeah let's try to run the code for example first of all let me give input my camera index zero and you are gonna see me now hello and this is working very well you can see just maybe the uh, the aspect ratio i'm not defined well which is equal to the my camera resolution that's why maybe a little weird the size is uh, seems different but you can use uh, you can update also your aspect ratio in some connections it's easy and you can also give to this input your video path but you need to know also you will remember from the previous video the for the input video inputs you need to be careful about the thread because your since your video is already in a file and it will directly cap and it will be really faster when i open the camera you are not see you don't see that fast faster frame coming to you because it's have a it has a fps also the video also has an fps but this thread does not care about it it will directly catch all of the frames from the video and there will be a really faster stream you will see on the screen so you should be careful about it i will share this code also in my kitab you can directly reach from there uh, i just wanted to show you another way to send opencv images to qml and see you in the next videos